Residents in Morro Bay are still cleaning up and rebuilding after the storm that hit the Central Coast on January 9th. After living through that experience, community members are worried about the creek that overflowed last month. I went to Morro Creek to talk to locals and a city representative to see how they are preparing ahead of the rain. You know how they say it happened so fast? and you think, oh, it really didn't know. You don't have time. That's how fast it really happened. This is what Silver City West looked like after the storm on January 9th. Here's a clip from a business on Main Street in Morro Bay. A powerful river rushing through homes and shops. And it looked like a bomb had went off in here. We, I mean, literally walked around in sludge, mud. It was a combination of factors that caused Morro Creek to overflow. What happened during the storm on January 9th uh, is that we had up to six inches uh, in five hours time. Water came very quickly and it had nowhere to go. What is the city doing with active weather on the horizon? So one of the ways that we're preparing for this storm is ensuring that all the inlets uh, and drainage facilities are cleared out so that water can move freely into the creek and then into the ocean. With rain in the forecast, residents are not only worried about trash and debris at Morro Creek, but more so the big concern is this pile of sediment, which is at least four feet high. Community members want something to be done to free up space under the bridge. Nerve wracking to the point they, they've got to do something with these bridges. Water's going to flow and it's going to make its way somehow to get down to the ocean. So just where the sediment is so built up on this side, if that was cleared out and cleaned out so that water had an easy way to get under these bridges, I, wow, that would be wonderful. What a great help that would be. A long-term project for the city of Morro Bay. So the city did observe that there were a few inches of additional sediment uh, that settled in the creek, in some parts of the creek, uh, because of the last storm. And because of that, the city has been working in close coordination with state agencies uh, to explore options to remove that sediment. In the meantime, residents are hoping Mother Nature shows some mercy this time around. If it happens, it happens. I'm already tore out. It's just going to wash on through. Morro Bay's Director of Public Works told me the city has crews on call ready to remove debris in case of flooding. Their public safety departments are prepared to respond to incidents and they are looking into opening a warming shelter.